Hey, hey, this is Mike Cristancho with the digitalpm.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install Magento and begin working with it to start your own e commerce store on Magento Community Edition 1.9. So one of the first things you're going to want to do, obviously, is make sure that you have a domain name purchased. Um, you can go to GoDaddy, you know, dot com, um, purchase, you know, a domain here. You can go try to find something that, that fits your needs. So find a domain um, and look for something that you know you would potentially want to start your store. Um, potentially, you want to use a keyword that's in the name of your product or something that you want to focus on in your industry, uh, but make sure it's descriptive. So once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and you know assume that you have that. You're going to want to find a host for Magento. And I think in a year or so, once you start to see some sales come in, I would definitely recommend getting your own um, you know, VPS or something that is a little more you know, <clears throat> heavier when it comes to hosting. But I think when you start out, a shared plan is just fine. Um, I like HostGator. It's, it's very straightforward and very low cost for the value that you get. Um, I would recommend the baby plan here, um, and you can see here it starts at you know six dollars a month. It kind of depends uh, on on the length of contract, but you know at the highest cost that's eight dollars a month. So I would definitely move forward with that. You can order it by looking in the link in the video here and go through and order that. Uh, I will say that I do get an affiliate purchase from this, so it helps me out on my side, and hopefully you get value in these videos. Um, and by doing so, you can support me as well. So you just register a new domain. If you want to do it here, you can purchase um, quickly. Um, if you want to use GoDaddy or another service, you can purchase your domain there as well. Um, so that's you know step number two. So step number one, buy the domain. Step number two, purchase the hosting plan. So I'll make the assumption that you already have you know, a plan. Um, this is what you'll get into once you purchase an account. <clears throat> you'll have your control panel. This is cPanel, so it's used in a lot of big services such as, you know, Bluehost and, and HostGator and you know, SiteGround. They all use cPanel. Um, what you're going to want to do is first create yourself a uh, FTP account. That way you can log in and drop the files uh, from Magento version 1.9. Um, it's very straightforward. I can send a link to this or create another video later uh, about how to create your FTP account. But I'm going to make some kind of assumption that you know, you've already created an FTP or it's come with it. Um, so the next thing you want to do obviously is log into that uh, FTP account um, and then you want to put your files on your domain. So this is on the left, the right, the right hand side here, this is um, the structure for Magento. So you can see here, you know, my site is going to be shopmapstore.com just as a sample. Um, and so we'll go to that in just a second. Uh, but that is where you want to drop your files. You can download this from Magento directly. Just do a search for Magento Community Edition. So you want to drop those files. Um, so at that point, I, again, I'm, I'm just going to think it's safe to assume that you have that content already, um, that you've already installed Magento and you've already tied it to your .com. If you need help along the way, I'm more than willing to create a tutorial. Just make sure to comment to say that you guys want it um, before I create it, but I'm more than happy to do so. So really what you want to do you know, at this point is log in with your credentials. You can see here this is yeah, shopmapstore.com. It's a real existing store. Um, you know, if I go to the front end, it has a front end, the design. You know, it's very straightforward. Um, but you can see that it's a little bit of content here just to get started. Uh, and I'll walk you through exactly how to hook these things up. So in the admin panel, the first thing you'll see is you know, really nothing. Um, you'll see that there's no orders, there's no lifetime sales, obviously we're just starting out, there, there's nothing new. So what you'll have to do is really start from scratch. And I'll get into that in just a little bit. I'll roll over all of these sections, you know, all the main navigation sections and what they all mean, help you move forward in your step for e-commerce store, and hopefully you'll be able to you know, start making money on your store soon. So again, this is Mike Cristancho from MikeCristancho.com, freelance, MC Digital. And then also as well, the digitalpm.com, which is probably where you're viewing this content. Um, if you have any questions you know, about HostGator, your domain, or otherwise, let me know, and I'm more than willing to help you guys. Um, and I'll talk to you next time.